hey, you know what? I had a real basic question that I wanted to ask you, and which was, how do you set things up in trading view for like, like just basics, you know, just, just follow us through. Because first of all, is trading view, do you have to pay for that service? Is there like more advanced stuff where you can, you know, get like, like a free account? Uh, there's a lot of basics. Uh, you do you can get a free account at TradingView, um, but uh, I have a premium account at this point. Um, it just helps a lot with like equities and and having multiple charts and stuff. But if you're a beginner, I mean, you don't have to do that. Um, there are uh, a lot more custom indicators that we've built uh, at our Market Rebellion charting platform that uh, has been a lot of fun to design. Um, if you'd like to learn more about that or see the sequential indicator. Um, because that's one that's not automatically programmed into TradingView. And so that one is at marketrebellion.com forward slash crypto on our platform. Um, but sorry, Rob, I don't feel good. like I fully answered that question. <laughs> how about this? I'm going to, well, okay. How about this? I've got a free trial right now at TradingView. Show here. I'm going to share my screen. Everybody see that? For the for the uninitiated, how do I set this up? This looks very complex to me. Like, like show me like how to get like the, the RSI and like uh, how about the eight EMA, the eight A EMA or something like that. Yeah. Well, go to the chart on top left and right. create a new one. It's probably going to start with Apple. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, we can go to BTC. Bitcoin Health Studios. I always like to go to the Bitstamp chart if you just go BTC USD because the Bitstamp is, they've got the most historic data. I think they've got data going all the way back to like 2012 or something. But yeah, that top one is the one you want. This one, the Bitstamp, yeah. got it. Okay. Hey, not too bad today. No, not at all. A nice move in the markets. Oh, unless, oh, this is 13. Oh, we're on a, okay. I was like, what the heck? We're on a, must be on a daily. Okay. So show us how to set this up. How like the basics of basics. Someone would want to check this up just to see where things are going. Yeah. So just right of the one day up in the top left. Um, okay. You go to, you see that little like line looking thing, ju the symbol just right of the day. It's on the top axis. This here? Right one. Yes. Okay. And then just click candles. Okay. There you go. And then there's going to be an FX symbol as well at the top, um, just right of the candle button. You can hit that one. That's where the indicators live. So you can try a lot of various uh, indicators um, if you'd like to you know, learn about some. The basics, the ones that I use, uh, are the stochastic. So that's S-T-O-C-H. Yep, the top one right there. And uh, also the CCI. It's also called the Commodities Channel Index. Yeah, Commodity Channel Index right there. Um, and then the smooth, smooth moving average. We'll go with that one. Actually, actually, no. I want to keep it more simple than that. Uh, you. The parabolic czar. If you just parabolic and then S A R. Yeah, the second one there. Okay. All right. That's the, you can only add three <laughs> with the basic tier. So let's just start here. Awesome. So here we've got the SAR. Here we got the, the stochastic, fantastic, and the CCI. So what are we looking at? So yeah, these just help you. Think of these like you're flying an airplane and, you know, you've got your gauges and your certain levels that you follow, you know, um, when you are looking at the stochastic or that purple band, um, you'll look that uh, when we get kind of down lower in that uh, trough there, like when we go, um, I'm talking about like on the actual stoke you know, like on the stochastic, uh, oh, stochastic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like right there, that's overbought territory. And that's just a warning sign that we're probably going to go down. Um, same is true if we get and say an oversold territory, you know, we go, um, from being 
and down, and then of course uh, being up. But you see how those intersections kind of occur at the bottom. When you see those intersections, that's a pretty good indication that the trend is turning. And as you can see, when you look back up at the candlesticks that measure price above, those show that we have bullish momentum and price is increasing. So when you're getting in that oversold territory, it's a, a signal to tell you, hey, the trend's probably going to turn around because momentum's either getting really overbought or really oversold. And okay. so it's basically that same premise on both the stochastic and the CCI down below. Anytime you're outside of those standard deviations probably means that we're going to come and revert to a mean or something like it. Gotcha. See, actionable advice. There we go. So this is for people who are like, just like me, who have no idea. So, so, so CJ, this must be like talking to an infant when, when you're talking to me about, about, uh, about, <laughs> about charts and whatnot. You're like this and this and this, but everybody's on, everybody's on a different level. That's just how it goes. So talk, talk to us real quick about this CCI. So the CCI, um, and this goes for pretty much all the indicators. Um, very rarely will I ever just look at one indicator and say, okay, this is what's going to happen. Like I said before, you know, think of it like an airplane that you're flying and, and you're looking at your, your gauges for however, you know, whatever, how high you are. Um, so you want to use these in conjunction with one another. You want to see these lining up together. So like where your mouse cursor is right there, Rob, you can see that both of those indicators on both the CCI and the Stoke are very oversold at that particular point. So what did that, what, did, what happened then after both of those indicators got into a severely oversold territory? Well, buyers stepped in and the price rallied. And that would have been a, a nice time to get into a trade um, based on the fact that those both of those indicators started ticking back up and started getting more bullish momentum. So anytime you get into one of those extremes, it's a warning signal that the trend's probably going to do something interesting. And it's this been a pretty reliable and consistent pattern, as you've seen with Bitcoin these past few weeks. 